so I just took a nightly wee walk. Just coming by the Intermezzo wee bar. Shrek. And you've got the, the big picture hall up there. One of them, the City World, one of them shutting down in Park Cade last week, and there was a wee guy in the paper saying, Oh, I go every Monday, and it's going to fucking fuck my routine up. But everywhere's shutting down, everywhere I walk now. So I shut, and here's the roadworks here. And that place where they're failing, that's a wee snooker, well, a pool hall. And next to it is a comedy place. It's just by there. I've never been in it, but sometimes you see big crews. It's just. Just right there in the corner, I can't believe I walk over it. It's kind of in there. It's a comedy club. And uh, you know, it's it there. And back. Aye, that feels as we pull up there right? before the cocktails and all that. Then you've got the walkabout, and of course, the, you've got the pavilion. There you go, it's all lighting up. Guys out doing the roads late at night. I don't know what we're doing, they're always, always doing something. And the Afro. Afro arms. People are going there for the pavilion and all that. And uh, But that's even. Everywhere is all struggling, you know what I mean? So that is. But these guys here, let's see what they're doing. It's kind of going to be there are stone in there. See what else he's on it. Some of it. Should get a mask on that. What is it? Excuse me, you. Do you mind me asking what is it they're doing there? They're putting lights or something? Sorry? They're putting lights or something? No, no, no. They're just fixing uh, the side of the building and then also. Oh, is it the side of the pavilion? Oh, no, the no, walkabout? No. Yeah. So is that shutting? That's no shutting there, is it? Mm -hmm. So you're going to fix that the new way it's still open? Yeah. That this building here? cleaning the windows as well. Oh, cleaning the windows and that, right. Right. And fixing the framework. Yeah. Where, where is it you come from, you mind asking? South Africa. So far, yeah, I know the accent. Yeah, nice, nice one. Do you stay here in Scotland now? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like it? Beautiful country, but the weather's shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're getting all the thing we were there, alright? Cheers, mate. Aye, nice guy, speaking away there, he's fair. What should have run out of him? It's fair South Africa, nice to say. It's a beautiful country, but fucking shit weather. But they say they're that walkabout is actually opened. And they say that, I thought they were doing a fucking street lamp or something. They say, no, we're going to be cleaning the windies and all that. There you go, well, it's still open, isn't it? I thought they were going out of the pavilion. But the wee guys like that, oh, it's in South Africa, I went, shit weather. <laughs> and this is the bad weather, just just starting in there. I had to tell them, watch that getting built in Maldron. Somewhere in there. Maldron Hotel. A bad wee place. I've been in it. I've not stayed in it. Remember that? And a couple of swallows on it. That was back in the day. Well, <laughs> wait a minute, ain't back in the day. You're only into day fucking ten. Your last drink was at the bad. The soul to soul, you know what I mean? So, what was what I said the other day? So is it ten? It's at eleven days. Uh, so, and there's this naughty place here. <laughs> naughty. Why'd you call it naughty? It's a citizen. We'll see a lot of strange going on, is it? Strange going on to even in there. Have sex parties and all that. Well, why don't you go and ask them? <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm going to say to them, but I'll just go and say to them. How much is it for a night in here? Where is it? I was going to ask them much of it. Excuse me, sir. I'm just, uh, I do a wee YouTube thing and that, and I go about doing different things in the town and that. Much is it to stay in here tonight? Sorry? Much is it to stay in here for tonight? I have no idea. Or do you know book it in here? No, we don't take bookings here, it's only the website that you can do. It's only the website? Yeah. Right. Do, do they do sex parties and that in here? I don't think so. 
No, I've heard that. It's a good, it's a good place to come to. No? That's a, that's a pity, mate. You know what I mean? Live in the place up. No, I just asked him that. I don't ask you don't get. It's only have sex parties. He says, I don't think you do. I says, oh, it's fucking... That's, that's bad, mate. Ha! <laughs> live in the fucking stage for people. But yeah, that's, that's what you hear. So you've just got to get an ass. There's people coming out for the Thistle, Crotty Dog Thistle. It's called the... Uh, Called me, fuck's it. I've stayed in the festival actually when you at Christmas. Took my family and that in there, stayed the night. That's what I had money. <laughs> but you know, skint the skint but happy. He goes being the richest man in the jail, is it? Can he spend it? So Aye, so I stayed in that festival. What is it? It's called a Hilton. A Hilton, yes. I've got a lovely uh, what's it called? Is that a Savoy? That's a Savoy. How you begin this? That's the side door there, isn't it? There. Oh, there. They'll oh, serve it. The last few, it's got light bulbs and all that. Oh, is it? Oh, no. Side door. And Marks and Spencer's even shut. Marks and Spencer's shut down the... Uh... Marks and Spencer's are lying here. At the back. Sure it is, Marks Spencer's. Books at the back, your mouth suspends their shutting circle shoot. And guess what they were talking about then? Guest. Uh, turn it into student flats. Can you add them in here, but. Oh, the bus needs to go right. So there's this place. This place here. I call I still call it Thistle. But it's a Hilton. And for you, and you, it's Christmas, yes, Christmas is nearly with us. I was in the shop the other day and I was seeing Christmas stuff, I'm like, wait a minute, it's even Halloween. So there you've got the Cask Clive. For hotel guests and locals alike, Cask and Clive is a place for everyone to visit. Whether you're looking for cocktails, craft beers, or just some good scran, but now the Christmas Glasgow set at Central. It's I Central Hotels, is that a whole now? So it's the Cask and Clyde. So what's the cask in Clyde? That's no Cassie for Clyde, is it? It's only George Bowie. Are they events? It might be. So there's a hang out. We also do a private event. Going for a private party of 10 with meeting space for a private dinner for 800. With the numbers of flexible functions we choose from. Book now. And now you've got the Christmas again. We're moving on. A gentleman just came out there. So every time you want a language, there are some good nights in here. There, there you go, there's a the disco party. The festive, tell you that, the festive. Get your glad, glad rags on and celebrate at one of our intimate disco party nights. There you go, Christmas at the Glasgow Central. But it's in there and moving further along, you can pay for this in. Fuck it, no, You're buying a wee night in there. There you go. The festive Glitter Ball party nights in full swings, I told you. Join the main event, the Glitter Balls, Radio Clyde's very own Gary Spence. How are you doing, Gary? And the resident band Ernest keeps you entertained throughout the night. Book now, Christmas at the Glasgow Central again. Hey, wait a minute, what is this free advertisement or what? So, there's more. There's an afternoon tea, the season surprises, join us at the Cass and Clyde Festival. But now you've got it, Christmas at the Glasgow Central. And here's the final one. There's a guy standing there, so there's always something going on. I'll ask him in a minute. So there you've got the, oh, the Wonder Fest. Have you even got that guy looking? It says, the Wonder Fest time of year. Join in the Double Tree by Elton, Glasgow Central. Now let's get this gentleman and see if he's willing. Oh, there's always great nights in there. Mate, what's going on in there tonight? Is it a, is it an awards? Yeah, Who, who's the awards for the night? Uh, food and drink first. Who's it for? Food and drink first. Food and drink. Yeah. Are you filming? Ah, I've just filmed, just walking along the street, mate. I can film, but I'll not take it away. Uh, I, ju- I just have your podcast walking along, and yeah. I used to get in there, and it's called the Fissile, mate. Oh, lovely. 
and uh, but see the awards they did some fun. they did the sports din- dinners yeah, and everything. Yeah, no, no celebs tonight. No, no celebs just, tonight. Just, no, just just folk like me work. You know? so, so, do you work in the hospitality? I think. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. So, so it, wait, the, the award then, is it is it restaurants that's getting awards or hotels or is it the whole of Scotland? So who's been some of the winners so far tonight? Uh, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Couldn't uh, tell. You're just having a good drink and yeah, enjoying it. Right. Okay. Then. Right. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. They couldn't tell as a gentleman. I asked them who won the awards and that. Right, but. The guy's just having a good time, he's just there to have a jolly, isn't he? So as I was saying, there's, there's that Boots and the Marks and Spencers is over there. Marks and Sparks, the back door, that's shut through the front. And I said, I heard it was going to be student flats. And there's Boots, that's, that's, aye, that's the lot. Coming up. And as I say, I gave this place a good write up. Not a good write up, was it from the dinner tech or something for even times? Of Tom Cowan. Fuck, get your heart out, Tom. I'm coming after your pies. <laughs> Actually, mate, fucking Tom. Up my restaurant, up my. Uh, Denison. So there's me stalling in the window there, because that's the swimming pool, not in there. I know the place. Know what I mean? So. There we go. Yeah, it's a long girl, that's just... There's people standing there. It's called the Double Tree. It used to be the Double Tree Hilton. So it's a hospitality night, the guy couldn't tell us who was there. He says, no celebs. Ali McCoy's must be busy the night, eh? <laughs> He's usually at all the awards and all that. Get the pies down the alley. Fucking hell. I hear you might be going into the jungle. You've known in the last couple of years because you don't like cockroaches. Well, Ali, a lot of fucking cockroaches in Glasgow, mate. As you know, fucking hell. Uh, you're down in England today. So good luck, Ali, if you get into the, the celeb jungle. I hope there's no cockroaches. But watch out for the reptiles and the snakes, Ali. <laughs> I say there's a lot of fucking cockroaches, reptiles, snakes, every here. So you get a different variety in Australia if you can. I'm sure Ali would win up. He's very popular. And uh, he might even get a romance. That's, that's with Jordan, mate. Peter win up. <laughs> oh, no, I've just remembered Ali's married. I hear you shouting. That's not going to stop any cunt, is it? There's a number 18 to Green Hills. Sometimes I jump that bus myself, but not tonight. So, aye, the jungle. I used to watch it. Valley gets in a watch up. See if he gets up to any hanky panky. <laughs> fucking hell. I'm sure his wife will be watching it. I'm sure Ali will be trying to smuggle a fucking mobile there. He'll be in speed dial. You know what I mean? So. Come up, people saying, can you point out where you're walking? Well, this is a... Uh, this is Renfrew Street. And you've got the... So I might have a walk up with that. It's good for the, yeah, the heart pumping. Fucking <laughs> hell. A lot of pumping in that jungle. <laughs> Jesus. No, no, come on, Mr McDonald. A nice hotel there, the Atlantic. For I know for old comfy stay. And I'm sure that's the right kind of a advertising. No frills in the Atlantic. Fucking hell, there you go. It's just at a revamp. I was up here the last, oh, that was a wee garden table. I was up here weeks ago and I was like tipping all that. So, as I say, no frills, but plenty of spills. That would be telling. Fucking hell. Same as the citizen. Yeah, he was like that, he just it never sees no corner and he just went, oh, not at all. <laughs> That's not what I've heard. I pound up and down that street all the time, mate. And you hear things <laughs> and fuck, fuck, <laughs> see things. So there's a wonderful art school up there. There we go. I've already done all these wee stairs. All the names in the art school. God bless it. It's been burnt down fucking twice. Don't tell me it was deliberate, was it? 
what would you think? It's been fucking a ball to all again, and then it gets set in fire again. So, council has been fortunate, and the security company and the builders, Jesus, well, that tells you that. Two fires, campus, and all that's been wiped out. I heard they're near a place, Berlinski's. That looks lovely. I did get it last Friday. I was kidding, I had the tracks in that one. I was just killing a bit of time. I was waiting to get into Peppies. And, uh, well, that's me in a shoulder there, that. Still no holding the stick. I like this holding this. You'd be a professional YouTuber then. I'm a, U a YouTube chaser. Pff, fuck. So, the guy did it there. You no, know, the first row there. Hilton says, not following me. I says, I was going to see him private. I'm getting a bit more bolder now. I was very, really respectful, still respectful, but I can film in public. Let's see the idiots doing it at fucking Central Station the other day. Hey, you can't film me. It's done in the two fucking police. Fuck. I can you imagine what they're saying to the police, for fuck's sake? That's how you've no wanted film filmed. You know what I mean? I'm oh, fucking a couple of midnight masses and I've just come talking along, mind the main business and wait a minute, I had to write a passage. I was the following me. I was just walking by, I was going to Tesco. I was just off the train. I'd been through with Fred seeing Jerry for Barhead. And some people say, Who's Jerry? I said Jerry for Barhead and it's sad to say Jerry's been in the hospital for months and months. He's not too keeping too great. And uh, he met his son up there, Is it young Derek. How you doing, Derek? Yeah, he's a young man, 24, he's life ahead of him. And he says, he kind of a, I don't know if you watch the TikTok or the YouTube, but he's, Dad's a great guy. And he asked for a photo with me and Fred and that. And I was going to put a photo up when I done the wee uh, YouTube the other day. He me, Jerry, and Fred, but I went, no, I said, uh, that was private, you know what I mean? You don't know what his family and that's fine, but it was Jerry saying, let's get a photo and all that. And the last time I saw Jerry was actually at a funeral. Uh, it was Kevin and Neil's funeral, in fact. Jillian's his missus. Okay, Jillian, if you're watching. Jillian and Paisley. Kevin done nearly 30 a year. Fred stuck by him. Then that's what Fred says. I know people go, what do you mean you stuck by him for 30 years? Fred says, well, I stuck by him for 30 years. He's my pal. for school. And Fred did. Fred was doing the whole Europe. And he met boy Frank Cook for Yorkshire. He met David McAllister for Aberdeen. David escaped at the unit. He had an affair with a, a school teacher in the unit. And uh, things progressed. David was a bit of charmer. I met charmer. I met a charmer. I met David. In Long Latin, one of the times I was there. I got chatting about him and that fellow Scotsman. David done a few escapes, but that one for a whole unit was a cracker. David used all his charm, gone to the art class and whatever it was, charmed the woman. And she just walked him out the fucking door. <laughs> fucking hell. I think she ended up getting a stretch. Oh, so David got what he wanted, but I don't know how long he was on the run, but he actually escaped for the unit in the hole. And there was another guy in there, Fred Low. I've never ever really met Fred. I think he's a double murderer. He's from Scotland. I couldn't tell you what, but but he was in the unit. Fred met them all. And I think Ronnie, I don't know if Ronnie Easterbrook was in there, but I did meet Ronnie Easterbrook. I met him up in Franklin. Either the first time in 94 or the second time in 96 I was there with Warren, Warren Slanet. It's a campaign. Mary's kind of withdrew for the campaign. That's the latest. I don't know if she's going to come back, but I won't get into it. But uh, Mary's done quite a lot. She went on holiday there. Hi, Mary, how you doing? You went on holiday straight after that campaign, straight out of Alba Fera. Aye, she was sending me texts and photos and all that. Look what I'm drinking now. Fuck it, you know, Mary. Stop rubbing it in. Last time I was there. I swam with dolphins, me and my boy and his pal, 2007, it was great. And uh, the young team were getting cheeky to me. 
we were in this pub we were there two or three nights and there was this bull, you know the bucking bull I went through the guy and I spoke to him I said, well, I'll give you this some money see when they took him here, spun it as fast as fuck and let them fly off for their treat and I went, okay so I said to him, right, you're on there this was back in 2007 it's a great wee holiday I said to my boy, I'd phoned him up do you want to go on holiday? I went, went anywhere I went, bring a pal so you've got money you're spending on it. So I booked it, it was it was it anything fancy, it was uh, self accommodation in this freaking hotel. Just, just rented not rented, just rented flats for hotel, whatever the fuck you call it. So we went there for the boys' holiday. The boy was only 17 I think at the time. And his wee pal Gary. Gary ended up assistant manager of the count now, so I got I never ever got a drink after. <laughs> Well, last, I never won. This was years ago. So, the troops get a bit cheeky. Well, Dad, I don't know about that. Get on that bucket. They went, no. So I shouted, all drinks suspended. And they went, what? I says, all drinks suspended. If you don't get on there. They went, that's no real, no. I went, well, just get on it. So, Daryl and Gary went on it. The guy, I went up, gave him the thumbs up. I went, right, mate. Thumbs up, <laughs> and uh, the guy, oh, come on, by the way, they never lasted fucking three or four seconds. They took him off faster than fucking Harry Potter. Landed fud right in the ground, and I fucking couldn't help laughing. I say it was about three in the morning. They went, You're dirty, can't you? And I went, Oh, drinks resumed. <laughs> they went, Oh, for fuck's sake. So that was my time in Albuquerque. And then we went swimming with the dolphins. We went at different restaurants every fucking night. Of course, it was all stolen money, but saying that all stolen money, it was. It's back in 2007. But I'm not here to show off or, or whatever I'm just saying. And I still say to the young ones, don't get in my path. Get a job in McDonald's, get an apprenticeship. I says 10 or 12 year. Uh, this is at Charm Cross it's a 10 or 12 year he says you might have a wee boat house and maybe even a wee boat flat in Spain and you're about 30 or whatever I says and the two Charlie big potatoes your wee crooked pals it's getting up to everything with the 300 quid trainers and all the rest of it I think they're big time I says they'll either be fucking shot dead or fucking in the, the grave or in the jail for a long time so that's the kind of a Message I'm getting, so and I'm not going to lie, at the time when I had money, it was, of course, it was good. There's somebody broke down the tramp cross, you know what I mean? And uh, that was good, but it all does come to an end, it all does crumble. And this is us at the end of the beginning, so cool, shoot the driftwood. So, Mary. Ten days, I think we might be back now. Uh, hope you've had a fantastic holiday in Albuquerque. It's not a bad place. So why am I walking up here, walking and talking? I was just going to kind of a talk, tell a quick story that came to me to mind back in the past. I was released for the jail in January 2001. November 2001 in January, I was out, I was in Victoria at the time staying after hours and it was a bit crowded it's not coming out and we went to this hotel I don't know if it's called the Milkman or something like that and we got trapped out of there at fucking nine in the morning or something it was near where the the moat and that is so we ended up in the moat house it's called the Crown Plaza now and uh, there's a pedestrian crossing you can use millions of pounds just for a wee bike to get in there oh, what can you say nothing there's a box over there, look. I remember reading the paper, somebody creeped into there during the night and robbed it for about five grand. But they'd get caught after they spent the money. And nice and sleazy. Yes, there was a photo in the fucking paper last year. What happened? The guy had a bird out the window. I'm not going to but it was nice and sleazy. So it made a terrific story. So, getting back to this thing, we kicked it was Maltman or Maltman or whatever it was Menzies, is it Menzies? Menzies to tell or whatever so this is January 2002 I'm only 8 weeks 
So we went up to the moat house and uh, we asked for a room. She said, what a suite there. We went, right, so much other. It went 450 smack a room. Or we went, what? So it's about eight or nine is. She said, right, we'll chip in. And uh, I can't remember, it was 50 quid each or something, I don't know. And they said, the room will already get 12. But we were in there at the back of 10 and fucking... I started fucking drinking then. Then he says, the room's ready, and we were up, and one of the staff had been there chatting away. I'm going to put a couple of photos up, so I've kept these photos for crowdies. And uh, chatting to staff, and they went, Kylie Minogue was in there the other week, so we went up with this place, oh, it was fantastic, it was called the Anchorage Suite. And, uh, oh, big room, big living room, ornaments, and that for, oh, it was a crack, crack big place. So, uh, all, day, all day I was going down to the, to the reception. We were phoning people, got up here and all that. So, I was going down, I was the one going down all day. And the reception by six o'clock, must have looked at me and went, What the fuck? There's Witherspoon's uh, Hangar Cyclist. So, people must have laughed. Oh, she said, What the fuck's going on up there? Oh, there was everything going on up there. Fucking hell. There was wines and lines and. All we needed was a disco, but that was to arrive later. With the trips for Royston, the cousins and that. Anne and Lorraine and that, they came down and Susan. Got a big fucking speaker, master blaster. So they were doing by about eight, nine o'clock. And uh, it was a Sunday, it was a Saturday night we were at partying. But there's that place here, look. There's the one I went at the door, Spelinski's. And uh, so, just walking and talking. So I went to the door on Friday, as I was saying earlier, the links. I tracked it, not tonight, I says, I'm alright again, I says, where the guy, he was right rude though, I mean, it's, it's a way of talking to people, and he was stoning in there, so I'm not getting him at night time of day, you know what I mean? So anyway, back to the story, finish this quickly. So the time it came to about, i say two in the morning, three in the morning, there was about 20 people in there. There was a guy in it, he was on the run for the night, doing a lifer. There was a guy in it. I'll no show his photo. He's actually Dana Lifer. He's been in 17 years. There's another guy in it who's sadly dead. I can tell you as it's Jim Hines. Rest in peace, we can And uh, there was my man, a step that I even came down James and oh it was great, there was fucking champagne and fuck knows what. The music was burnt. So big Sam, I'll tell this story quickly. So big Sam for Kirky. I think this was the third time the managers come up and Sam says, I know how to deal with these kind of a people. That's, I went, right, okay, we're all going, right, Sam, you deal with it. Paul Ross was there as well. So Sam uh, went to the door. We were looking, I turned the music off, stood back, and big Sam came back in. His face was looking too good at you. It was a fucking knockback. Who was he kidding? And he went, says, right, well, I went, and Junior said, what did he say? He says if we're not in five minutes, he's getting the polis. <laughs> Welcome to the Crown Plaza in Glasgow, January 2002. The big Sam from Kirky, I heard he went on to work for Arnold Clark. He was good with the computers. When big Sam says, I'll deal with it. Aye, Sam dealt with it. We had to make an evacuation, because I say there was people in the run in there and everything. So that's it. Story time's over for tonight, and uh, goodbye for Glasgow. Goodbye.